Hello, I'm Rancho Palos Verde City Manager R. Moranu with an update from the June 6th City Council meeting. The Rancho Palos Verde City Council discussed the short-term and long-term action plan and timeline for mitigating the power outage issues in the Grandview Estates neighborhood. Based on city staff's communication with Southern California Edison since the April 4th meeting, SCE has completed vegetation inspections to remove any vegetation in the right-of-way near power lines. And to date, they have replaced 1,500 linear feet of wire with a covered conductor to mitigate a potential outage or public hazard. As a long-term solution, Southern California Edison is proposing the installation of remote automatic reclosures in the Grandview Estates neighborhood by the end of 2023. These devices are designed to intelligently and safely isolate portions of the circuit to minimize the overall impact of outages. The deployment of this system is a strategy that is being used to sectionalize the grid and allow larger portions of the circuit to remain energized during an outage. Southern California Edison will also consider providing portable generators to residents, especially the elderly or those reliant on power medical equipment, establishing a direct phone line with dedicated representatives who are familiar with the area and who are trained to provide accurate responses, honoring claims filed for food losses and appliance damage caused by power surges and applying a reduction or credit to the monthly service bill. In conclusion, the City Council received and filed a report from SCE regarding the short-term and long-term action plan for the Grandview Estates neighborhood, and the City Council also directed SCE to continue providing the City with weekly updates, to communicate regularly with the residents, to track power outage occurrences, and to return in August with an update on SCE's financial commitments. In another issue, once again, the City Council set the Landscape and Lighting Maintenance District rate to zero for fiscal year 2023-24. This will provide relief to residents at a time when prices in various areas of the economy continue to rise. Staff believes the total budget amount included in the preliminary budget for fiscal year 2023-24 correlates to staffing and contract services capacity available to complete maintenance work without assessing a levy. Setting the rate at zero provides the option for future City Council action to reinstate the levy of assessments as needed. For more information on the City Council issues, watch the June 6th meeting on RPV TV or on the City's website at rpvca.gov. Let's stay connected and remember we are RPV together.